Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on using digital resources in the classroom along with Google Classroom. Um, a lot of you have been asking me about how to use uh, these resources in Google Classroom, so I just wanted to show you very quickly how I would bring a, um, a resource into, uh, into there to use with my kids. So this is a resource that I have. It's uh, 30 digital graphic organizers. So in this document, if I scroll down, uh, there's all of the uh, the documents here, all of the graphic organizers. So when I'm ready to click on one, let's go with uh, the KWL. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to allow that. It's going to come over here, and it's going to open up. Um, it's going to open up and say, "Hey, um, you can copy this document for yourself." I'm actually going to bring this over. You don't need to do this. I'm just going to bring it over to Google Chrome instead. Um, so I'm just going to open that up here and it's going to say, like I said, do you want to copy this document, which you do, because you don't want to uh, change my original document. Um, you're going to make a copy into your own folder. So when this pops up, you're going to say make a copy and this opens up here and this notice that up here in the top corner it does take a couple seconds to load the first time so um, up here in the corner it does say copy of kwl you probably just want to change that to say a kwl um, because it was made into a copy it is going to put copy of in front of all of those when you do those so now that we have that changed we're good to go this is all set now notice this is not in um, mine anymore but it is going to be in your Google Drive so this is yours okay so if you edit this um, it is going to be your master template all right so we're good there so I'm gonna close that out now I'm gonna head over to Google Classroom uh, so notice I just made up a, a, um, a class here um, just to test things out and to show you so with that being said I'm gonna open up that class what I do um, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go over to stream and then in the bottom right hand corner there's the little plus uh, so now there's a few different options here you do have a few different options but what I would say is um, I'm gonna create an assignment um, so this is you're gonna say who it's going to so in this case I'll say all students the title is we'll say KWL uh, about Canada perfect okay all right so I want the kids to fill out a KWL and I'm just going to say that it's going to be about Canada so they're gonna research um, uh, more information about that so uh, you can pick a due date if you want to you could pick a topic if you want to if you want to say this is a writing uh, a writing piece you could do that or if it's related to writing the subject you could do that so now down here in the bottom there's these options you can attach something you can put um, a Google Drive document which is exactly what we're gonna do um, you could do a video or a link I am going to do the Google Drive because that's where we just saved the uh, the KWL. So I'm going to attach that and uh, notice here this pops up. And now notice that the 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 um, the default is it goes to your recent uh, your recent document. So that's actually perfect because I have the KWL here which I just opened. Uh, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to add that. And notice you can see here that it shows a little uh, little picture of that now it says uh, students can view file this is important because um, if I click that there's a couple of different options students can view file students can edit the file or make a copy for each student be very careful with this one because if you just say view file they won't be able to do anything they just can see the document uh, students can edit the file if you choose that one then all of the students are going to be able to see it and edit that one document so if you want this to be a collaborative activity and you want them to all work on the same KWL at the same time use that the third option is make a copy for each student so that is going to give each one of the students their own version of the KWL so on their Chromebook or their device wherever they're working as they type in information as they type in that information that is going to be um, that is going to be their own um, and then they can share that back with you so you can see what that individual student you know what they filled in for the KWL um, so that's what I want to do in this case because I want each one of the kids to be working in um, in uh, you know by themselves or you could even have them working with a buddy um, on that document so I'm gonna say make a copy for each student and then I'm going to assign 
And it's as simple as that. Um, it is assigning here. I don't have any students in here, so it's uh, notice that once I create that assignment, it does say zero done and zero not done just because I don't have any students here. But if you had 24 students in your class, it would say zero done, 24 not done. And then after the kids completed this assignment, uh, they would be able to they would be able to say that they were finished with this, and then you would get it back, and then you could give it a grade or you know look at it just to make sure they got the information that they needed. And that's pretty much it as far as Google Classroom is concerned. It's very simple, very easy to use. Um, and in this resource, like I said, in this resource, there are 30 different uh, digital graphic organizers that you can pretty much use with reading, writing, social studies, lots of other things as well. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much.